Good morning. It is about 9 a.m. It is Monday, which is the start of seven weeks out. Um, so the cool part about now these videos, it's going to be like week by week as we're getting closer and closer to the show. Um, I apologize. It is kind of windy. So if the audio is a little wonky, like that's why. Um, so yeah, I just finished uh, some cardio. I'm doing 20 minute, 25 minutes incline walking. Um, I'm doing that about six days a week. Um, which is like super easy, 25 minutes incline walking, um, easiest cardio that I've ever done on a prep. Um, but it is uh, getting close to go time. I got an update from my coach as far as my carb cycling. Um, yeah, so we're getting, you know, paying more attention to, you know, just getting things ready um, for show day. I am somebody who's very type A, very OCD. I like to have things set uh, weeks, weeks, weeks in advance. So I just got my show jewelry yesterday and um, we are going to be discussing suits. Um, I just told him I have no preference, so just surprise me with the color. So I'm going to have no idea what that's going to look like until we get to the show. So that's kind of fun. It's kind of like a gender reveal. We don't know what color it's going to be. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the theme of this video seven weeks out. So here we go. I have a really big um, leg and glute session later today. So I'll try to get some footage of that. But other than that, let's get the day started. One thing that does get kind of um, annoying is when you are working out twice a day, um, at least for me, like, because I do sweat um, and I don't want to wash my hair every day. So I found um, this at Bath and Body Works. It is so good and it smells amazing. So dry shampoo it is for me uh, this morning and most likely tonight because I try to wash my hair like every couple of days. Um, so yeah, it does a really, really good job. So that's kind of like my trick to not have to wash my hair and not look like a, you know, I don't know, a sweaty person all the time or like have a really greasy hair. So yeah, dry shampoo it is for me this morning. Also, two a days equals double the workout clothes. So laundry a little bit more frequently, but you know, that's okay. Just part of the process. This is literally one of my favorite things in the world. Any kind of rice cake. Almond butter. It is so good. It's almost noon. And um, I'm going to go to the gym at 12.30. So I'm going to eat this quickly. And um, yeah, head to the gym. Going to do some legs. Going to do some glutes and it should be good. So I'll see you guys at the gym. workout was super intense wasn't it this is my gym partner by the way she's the one she's the person behind all the camera stuff so if you see a finger in the lens it's hers um it was nuts my sports bra is dirty i look like i jumped in a swimming pool but i'm gonna pose really quickly and then um pre post workout meal All right, I just got back from the gym. Um, that was a really, really intense session. That It's crazy because like I was hungry right after I left and now I'm like, I'm not hungry at all, but I know I need to eat. So for this meal, I'm doing chicken and rice and I have been trying to add more veggies um, to each of my meals um, because I know that as we go into this and my carbs get lower, I know I'm gonna want to be eating more veggies. So I'm just like, 
just getting used to digesting them. Um, typically, I'm not a huge like veggie person, so um, yeah. So anyway, I have some zucchini in the air fryer, so I'm gonna wait until that gets done, and I'll show you what it looks like. But yeah, for the zucchini, I love zucchini, especially in summertime. Uh, just salt and pepper, throw them in the air fryer, and they are gonna turn out amazing. Yeah, this is like a really, really good uh, post-workout meal for me. My body responds really, really well to rice, and so that's what I am implementing into the majority of my meals. So my main carb sources right now are rice, potatoes, and oatmeal, or some sort of form of rice, whether it's like cream of rice or rice cakes, like that type of stuff. So, yeah. That's, that's what we got going on. So I'll show you guys uh, what this meal looks like in just a second. All right, so just quickly, because now that this is all cooked, um, I'm actually like really hungry now. So essentially um, my carb cycle has updated. I'm doing three days low, one day high. My carbs are a little bit lower. My protein's a little bit higher. Um, cardio is about the same, about six days a week-ish. I'm at 25 minutes. So overall, I'm feeling really good. Um, my coach says I'm right on track for eight weeks out. So I'm really, really excited about that. So that's a quick little update. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so good. If you've never air fried zucchini, it's like one of my favorite summer vegetables. It is so good. My mom used to make these all the time because we used to grow zucchini in our garden. Oh, so good. Okay, well, I'm gonna eat this so, as slowly as I can, but I'm probably gonna like eat it in probably two minutes. <laughs> um, and I will um, show you what I'm eating next because I have um, taken a break from chicken twice a day, so I'm doing ground turkey. So I'll show you what that next meal looks like um, when we get to it, yeah. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so what we've got here is red potato and then 99% lean ground turkey. I'm just gonna pop these in here for about 20 minutes. All right, so I just have a small amount of mixed veggies that I'm putting in my salad. This is actually really good, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of that on top. It is currently 7 a.m. Um, I fell asleep at like 9.30 last night. Yesterday's workout wiped me. Um, but yeah, so it's morning. I am taking a little bit of a coffee break for now. So green tea for me this morning. And um, yeah, time to go in and do cardio. Just finished up those 25 minutes. Sometimes when you gotta get to the gym, my body, I won't lie, has been really sore and so this morning it was really hard to get out of my car and walk in but um it's just like that autopilot and then as soon as you get in there you get going it's all good but i really feel like sometimes the hardest part is the walk from the car to the gym so yeah so got that done um today's high carb day um so i just wanted to talk like quickly about um what I do for high carb day. Um, I like to eat the same things um, the majority of the time. And so what I do is just simply increase what I'm currently eating. So I'll do a little bit more oatmeal. I'll do a little bit more rice. I'll do a little bit more potato. The one thing that I do add that I don't typically have is that I'll add in a piece of fruit. And so today I've opted for a banana cause it just, you know, it just sounded really, really good. And I'll, um, yeah, I'll eat that probably before I go back to the gym. Um, feeling really good this morning. I was battling some really bad inflammation this, uh, a couple days ago and I like I feel good today so I'm really really happy about that um, I got my check-in in a couple days and yeah seven weeks out feeling good and um, yeah so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week